Okay, this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And it's the, the review on the Iron Cinema Rocker Seats. Now, I've had these rocker seats now for quite a few years. You know, they uh, came from... Um, trying to think what cinema were. I'm not sure if they came from an Odeon. Um... I got these seats through a uh, cinema um, seating supplier. Very cheap. Very, very, very cheap. Um, that was 10 years ago. It was maybe 11 years ago. Um, through uh, a cinema... I can't remember the name of the supplier. UK Cinema Seats or something. Um, so they're used, you know... But they came uh, with all the uh, the features uh, that typically come with a, a rocker seat. I use that um, towels just so I don't damage the seat, you know, so if I'm sitting on it, I don't sweat on it into the back, back of the seat and such. Um, there's so much clutter around here. Um, you know, I've got to tidy up. Um, but... They're flip-up seats. Move that out of the way. So flip-up seats. Uh, the back reclines. So you get that THX approval, you know, when a when a film like Indiana Jones gives you a punch, you know, and you kind of like, well, it scares you. Oh, and you get that rocker seat, you know, you give it the yeah. That rocked me, you know. The uh, the weight of the seats, uh, I'm not really sure because I haven't has to check the weight, but the armrests that go around the sides, these armrests are flipping heavy. Um, assembling the seat is uh, a case of you got to put the um, these fi fixings in first. You gotta space them out, measure them with a tape measure. So there's one, two, three, four. And then once they're all in position, then it's the case then to fit the seat bucket, which is that part. This cushion part unclips. Just put something down the side there, and this cushion part here would um come up off away from the seat bucket. You get in, start, put the uh, bolt screws in place and start tightening down the bolts until the seat bucket's in place. Um, then you can put the seat cushion in or rather leave the seat cushion out until last and then fit in the, uh, the seat back. And down there. There's two, the two settings for the, uh, the degree angle. Now, if I put that bolt screw in there, in that hole there, it would go back only slight. I've done it so they go, they rock back fully. And then just put the screw in, tighten it up. Screw in there as well, both sides. And, um, Put the seat cushion in, sit back and relax, watch a movie. And they're very easy to get to with a, a vacuum cleaner, if I want to vacuum clean under these. Occasionally I'll leave her uh, centre seat, maybe for my Mr. Sooty, because uh, he, he, he might want to sit on it. And I'll put a blanket on there, a little blanket on there. And he, he might want to sit on there if he wants to, if he, if he wanted to, but he likes sitting on the floor. Yeah, and the iron rocker seats. Um, I always wanted a rocker seat. Uh, so it makes it really cinema. But these are stadium ones and not really keen on that. Uh, I prefer if they only went to about this height. Um, there are other rocker seats that I'll want to get hold of. But I think those seats are now... Um, 
well long and gone and probably somewhere scattered around the UK or on a bloody tip sadly um American theorist seeding uh, rocker seats um, that we used at the Empire Leicester Square but there's similar ones that are showing up on eBay they're not totally the same because I know what I know what type they what type they add and the the details how they look on the sides and underneath how they're fitted and that I've seen some that look similar but not hmm but these these do okay a rocker seat's a rocker seat you know at the end of the day um all they need is a clean they're very fabric could be uh you could take all this all off all the undo all this and and take all the fabric all off and i could even if i wanted to i could uh get them rear um a put a post read redone refabricated if i wanted to but they don't need that. They just need simple general cleaning and they, they look brand new. Um, had a bit of a pig here. Had to drill a hole in there. Just down there there's a, a screw fitting. Just there. There it is. Because this was totally loose and I thought, how the bloody hell do I get that armrest off? Because how the heck do you get to that down there? Crikey. Not a big deal. Because all I have to do is sand it over a little. And then put a bit of car body filler. Or a bit of liquid nail. All over that. Sand it. Paint it. Stand back from a distance. I wouldn't even notice. I wouldn't even know it was done. Not a big deal. These are heavy duty. And yeah. You get authentic cinema squeaking that's because of the uh the type of floor i'm using the uh the type of floor um it's not the seat squeaking it's the floor so that's got to be tightened up now and then uh it's, it's that that makes the squeaking it's not the seat apart from uh, Oh, oh, THX. Oh. <laughs> so you got to have a bloody sense of humour. You know, I prefer these type of cinema seats because one, when you sit and move in them, they don't make that goddamn levery, noisy, bloody noise. God damn, I sat in one of those seats at the, uh, I think it was the New Odeon down Bournemouth, the... Um, I sense kind of like a an Atmos Dolby Labs uh, cinema sort of thing. Um, oh god, damn! Oh, never again do I want to sit in those seats. They they're too slippery. They ah uh, uh, awful, bloody awful. They try to make it look all luxury and all this, you know, but really they're after all that, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. And of course, yeah, I've got the uh, base shakers fitted to them. Got the base shakers fitted. And some on the floor. And I don't need any of that bullshit with, you know, a, fit, a seat that flips up extra just to, you know, because if you're really feeling like that, then you should be in bloody bed, resting, sleeping. You know what I mean? This, I'm in the THX listening position. This is the THX, no bullshit, certification listening position. Not... I don't bloody fucking care. And you're only hearing the sound then, you're not really paying attention. <laughs> now then. <clears throat> oh, oh. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, go and get some real cinema rocker seats. They're far cheaper than these home theatre seats. 
where they cost where well, they cost way too much and they take up far too much floor space whereas a real cinema seat it's all about oh how many seats have you got you know oh i've got so many how about you oh bloody hell i've got a lot how big's your room oh about the same size as yours oh how do you manage to put those all in then well i got real cinema seats oh what's that so not many people know because they've been brainwashed they think all oh, this home theater seat I think should be a luxury and all that it's not it's just bullshit the more things change the more they stay the same get some real cinema seats oh and they have cup holders grateful you know and put your mouse in there and uh i think a few other things as well uh, i've done um yeah do a few things with uh put remote controls on them um um oh yeah and uh sometimes well with the bass shaker it has a nice three-dimensional feel with the way the um, the frequencies are coupled with the seat and the way they're moving around especially when they're on the ones on the floor so when my feet are on the floor just like in the real world you feel vibrations like if you're on a bus that brrr, vibrating you take your feet off the floor yeah you lose or you notice some part of the vibration mechanical vibration is gone and you still feel the rest of it in the seat put your feet back on the floor and, you know um yeah yeah um very cheap it doesn't have to get audio file don't have to go audio file uh it's stupid just go fish and chip price fish and chips all these seats are probably uh probably about the price of going to a um fish and chip cuisine restaurant uh with a lot of guests and depending on how much how much you're going to order could could cost the same but nothing nothing ridiculous like thousands you know that's just just that's just absurd